What is Disable Resume in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.2. Also on this controller, I have a sample job. Let's take a look at that job real quick. If we go into the configure for this job, what we'll see here is we have a pipeline with three stages. First stage is just echoing out stage one. The second stage is echoing out a couple of lines and then sleeping for 30 seconds. And then finally for stage three, we're just echoing out stage three. So a very simple one, two, three, but that number two has a sleep in it. And you'll see why in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and go back over to the job and let's run it. Now that the job completed, let's take a look at the output and let's keep this in mind as we move through the rest of this video. We did our echo for stage one, we slept for 30 seconds in stage two, and then we echoed out stage three. So with pipeline, what we should be able to do is we can have a job running, but then have the controller restart for whatever reason. And then once the controller is back up, it should go ahead and pick back up right where it left off in that pipeline job. So let's go ahead and click on disable resume again. We'll click on build now. And let's take a look at the output of job number two. We can see that we're in our sleep. So let's go ahead and restart our controller. So we'll just go up into our URL and type in slash restart. Are you sure you want to restart? We'll go ahead and click on yes. Now that the controller is back up, let's go ahead and go back into disable resume. And let's take a look at the output for job number two. Go into two. Remember the first time we ran it, we saw a stage one, stage two with a couple of lines that slept. And then we went right to stage three. But this time, because we had a restart happen while the job was actually running, we see this line item here, resuming build at time after a Jenkins restart. We're waiting for the reconnection of the agent before proceeding with the build. Once it reconnected, then it was able to pick up and continue running. And then finally, we get down into stage three. But let's assume for a moment that we don't want this type of behavior for this one pipeline. Well, what we can do is we can disable the resume feature for pipeline. How do we do that? Let's go ahead and go back up to our job, click on pipeline syntax. We'll click on declarative directive generator. We will go ahead and click down onto options and under add, let's look for disable resume. What this means is do not allow the pipeline to resume if the controller restarts. That's what we want in this case for this pipeline. Now that we added that block to our options, let's go ahead and check the box and then click on generate declarative directive. We now see we have an options block with disable resume in it. Let's go back over to our job, reconfigure the job. We'll go down into our section under agent any, we'll go ahead and paste in our options. Move this over here just a little bit, just to clean it up and click on save. Now at this point, we've added the option, but the option hasn't actually taken effect yet. How do I know that? If I go back into configure for the job, I can see here that the do not allow the pipeline to resume if the controller restarts is not checked. So all I've done is I've saved the job, but I need to go ahead and run the job once, or I could just check the box. But what I want to do is I want to have the job run completely so we can see that this box is checked. So let's go back to disable resume and click on build now. Now that the job completed, let's go ahead and go back into configure. And we can now see that this box is checked. And the reason why it's checked is we let the job run completely and it applied this disable resume. So now at this point, what we can do is we can go ahead and run the job again. So we'll click on build now. And once it starts up, we'll go ahead and verify that we are at the step that we're expecting. We're in our sleep. Let's go ahead and type in our restart. So restart and yes. This time we can see that the job has failed. Let's go in and take a look at the output for job run four. We can see that we were in our sleep. The controller was shut down. The build is marked to not resume. And finally, it just gives us an error. So at this point, the job has failed. So by adding in our disable resume, we were able to make sure that this pipeline did not resume after a controller restart. Now let's back all that out and verify that just by making that one change, that pipeline will continue to resume. So one last thing, let's go back into disable resume configure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the box and I'm also going to remove my disable resume. So I delete that, verify the box is unchecked. Let's click on save. And finally, let's go ahead and click on build now. We should see build number five start up. Once five is started, let's go ahead and do a final restart. And if we go back into disable resume again, what we'll see is that build number five saw that the job had failed. It resumed the build and then finally 
finished up successfully at stage three. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.